In the field of value investing, moats refer to the competitive advantages that allow a company to maintain its market position and fend off competitors. These advantages create barriers to entry, making it challenging for other companies to replicate the company's success. Right-click to select the Fundamental Explorer tool for a ticker, and then click on Analyst Ratings on the top tab and select Morningstar. Morningstar estimates the moat and the moat trend and see the reasoning behind Morningstar's analysis. There are more topics in this menu to explore, such as recent business strategy and outlook, fair value and profit drivers, risk and uncertainty, capital allocation, financial health, and business description. Here are three common types of moats, including the narrow moat and an explanation of why they may be classified as such. A narrow moat represents a relatively smaller or less durable competitive advantage compared to other types of moats. It indicates that the company has some advantages, but they may be more susceptible to erosion or competition. Some factors in a company that can contribute to a narrow moat include brand differentiation. It may have a recognisable brand, but it may not possess an exceptionally strong or dominant brand compared to its competitors. Cost advantage. It may have a cost advantage over some competitors, but it may not be significant or sustainable in the long term. Switching costs. It may have some switching costs associated with its products or services, but they may not be substantial enough to create a significant barrier for customers. Intangible assets. The company may have some intangible assets, such as patents or proprietary technology, but they may not provide a substantial advantage or protection. Next, what defines a wide moat? A wide moat represents a more substantial and durable competitive advantage that provides the company with a significant edge over its competitors. Wide moats typically have stronger and more defensible barriers to entry. Some factors that contribute to a wide moat include strong brand. The company has a well-known and highly respected brand that establishes customer loyalty and preference. Cost leadership. The company has a significant cost advantage over competitors, allowing it to offer products or services at lower prices while maintaining profitability. Network effects. The company benefits from network effects where the value of its product or services increases as more users or customers join the network. Intellectual property. The company possesses valuable intellectual property such as patents, copyrights or trade secrets that provide a unique competitive advantage. High switching costs. The company's products or services create substantial switching costs for customers, making it difficult for them to switch to a competitor. And lastly, no moat. Some companies may not have a moat or a sustainable competitive advantage. They operate in highly competitive industries where it is relatively easy for new entrants to replicate their products or services, resulting in minimal barriers to entry. It's important to note that the classification of a moat as narrow or wide is not a fixed or absolute categorization. The assessment of a company's moat is subject to interpretation and can vary among analysts or investors based on their analysis and perspectives. Thank you.